Hello everybody, Seal here, and we're continuing our Court of Red Moon's Darkest Dungeon Week. Alright, we got our ruins to level 3. We we gotta stop going there. Jester, debuff. I mean, that's kind of a gim badge. I mean, the speed and dodge and position, what is that, right? I mean, I actually like that. But we still don't have a full party at level 2 yet. No, I mean, he's good to bring, he's good to bring, and he's good to bring, but we don't have a tank at level 2 yet. So let's take Relay. Gimbal. Yeah, let's take Gimbal. One of them might level up in this. Let's take Dumbledore. And Balgir. No, Belden. Yeah, you're fine in that position. Awesome. Alright, so what we want to do is definitely pick up repost for you at some point, big boy. We want to do something in the cove if we can. But the problem is it's just a short, so we're probably going to get shit points for it in terms of resolve. Crusader only. 30? Ah, I like that. Hold up. We're going here. We're going to the Warrens for a medium. Alright, so this one's a medium, so we're taking full food. We're taking a bunch of this. A bunch of this. Eight of this. Two of these. One extra of these. Two keys, just in case we find a secret room. And some bandages. We have, like, a ton of money. Speaking of which... We have literally a ton of money. So let's just sort these by activity. There's no reason to not actually make these guys as effective as possible. In my opinion. We still can't upgrade these. Oh, we need to get this up. No, oh, we have, like, no heirlooms. Um, Alright, good thing we're bringing the antiquarium. Though I believe that just gives us more money. Not antiques. Which is actual garbage. Alright, we still have a ton of money. Like, the problem is, is we have a lot of money and we don't have a lot of heirlooms. And we're going to need a lot of heirlooms. Alright, complete 100% of room battles. Let me actually take the layout here. So we do need to go this way first. Now, we might get some good scouting and realize there's no fight here. And we can backtrack early. But we'll see what happens. We got some carrying eaters. Ah, that's like the least worst surprise that we could have. Dumbledore. I mean, it sort of makes our dude here kind of completely useless. Stun? No, alright. That's the blight one, I guess. It burns. We're trying to set up for the double kill here with the uh, Jakus. And there it is. Give them no quarter. Let's just move back into our original positions. Yeah, buddy, I know. You got some bubbly acid going on with your fleshy parts. I'm sorry, really. Still, you're the Dark King, really, man. You can, you can fucking handle it. Damn it, I still have to go down here. We didn't get enough scouting. Yes. That's a lot of food. It's more food than we'll probably need. So I'm probably going to end up just eating it just for the sake of getting rid of it. Damn it, Dumbledore. I just love how effeminate that smack is. I mean, the Antiquarian could totally be a... A chick. No idea. 
I'm just saying. I know Dumbledore can smack an ass better than that. Fucking Grindelwald's fucking if Jim Grindelwald's ass could talk. Oh ho, slash friction galore. I wasn't the biggest fan of Dumbledore's character. Especially towards the end of his life. I liked it a lot early on. Because he just seemed to be like a foolish old man who was I love that because I was a huge fan of Dragonlance growing up. And the whole idea of this bumbling wizard who's extremely powerful, but just a little bit silly. Like Paladine, always forgetting where he put that... F how, whoa, how did that fireball spell go? Uh, that's, that's, that's funny shit to me. That is, that is an archetype in fiction that I like. Oh. I'm gonna get rid of an emerald this and I'm gonna get rid of this for this money is a bit more valuable than gems in this setup because uh, the antiquarium makes the uh, money stack a lot higher so we did have to come all the way down here just to kill these guys I feel vindicated in my actions I don't feel all that thrilled that I had to do it but the fact that we did have to do it and I correctly called it is good because if we went the other way, got to the end of the dungeon, we'd have to backtrack all the way down for one fight with four spiders. And I'm not about, I'm just not about that life, yo. <laughs> Fucking getting crit by someone spitting a web at you. Fucking useless old man. Thank god you got deep pockets. Sugar daddy. Mmm, <laughs> bop. Well, yeah, no, Dumbledore, I mean... The whole he knew that Harry was a Horcrux and that the boy needed to die and that he was grooming the boy to die the whole time is kind of really fucked up if you think about it. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. As the fiend falls, he just, fiend I mean, I get it. He's like the one father figure Harry had in his life for a very long time. I just don't think that makes up for being a not great person in the rest of his life. Because let's not forget, he was best friends with, you know, Wizard Hitler. Well, not Wizard, Wizard Hitler. The precursor to Wizard Hitler. Because Wizard Hitler was Voldemort. But Grindelwald, who was like, I don't know, Wizard Stalin? Who the fuck knows? I, I don't know enough about Grindelwald's political opinions to break him down in a mo in a po in a like sort of like proto modern sort of dissociation or uh, fucking discussion. It's just it's not something I'm comfortable doing. Maybe if I had recently read the books, sure. If I was back in college at my Harry Potter course, I could probably tell you this shit and be on fire with it. But what can I tell you right now? Mm, this is fucking. It's fucking wizard Stalin, right? Like, let's let's not make the mistake of thinking that Gandalf was innocent and all this, because again, Gan er, Dumbledore, <laughs> just call him Gandalf, I probably did. Dumbledore was extremely implicit with him for a long while, and they got into a fight and a spell. No one knows who cast it, but something hit his daughter or sister. Yada yada yada. But again, I mean, the reason those two were so close, it, it's very much that sort of disturbing thing about very intelligent people who are aware that they're intelligent and have no moral qualms with believing everyone else is beneath them. Now, they might believe two different sides of the coin about that. One person might believe it is their duty to protect and serve and ensure that those of lesser intelligence can be brought up to a higher intelligence while someone else in that same conversation could be like or they should be put under boot and boot and made to respect those who are stronger than them why should we cater to the weak we are clearly superior and from what i remember dumbledore wasn't completely in, like not all right with that like I don't know. I just I just, just didn't like Dumbledore. 
by the end of his character. I was just like, this dude wasn't all that cool. Maybe it was the cock blocking in the subway. I just don't know. I mean, it's not just like the portrayal in the movies because I know how that was very drastically different once the other actor took over. Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Like, I, I get it. I, I'm a Harry Potter fan too. <laughs> I, I can be just as annoyed. Uh, well, you really can't do shit all that is useful. I, I'm, I'm right there with you on being annoyed about things in the movies that were very inconsistent with his character. But what I'm saying is that, was the character all that good to begin with? I really don't think that he was. I think he's definitely probably some weird pseudo savior to Harry for pulling him away from the Durleys, or Dursleys. Well, that's probably Hagrid more, but Hagrid pushes all of that onto uh, Dumbledore. That is a ridiculous amount of food. I, I guess. I don't know. He's just not a cool dude. Fuck him. Fuck him right at his pussy. Can't wait till she comes up with the prequel. I'll bet his life as a child. Or, you know, his time as a young prodigy with Grindelwald. I mean, you're, you're sure she'll probably do it at some point because she just fucking suffers with intense depression and fucking can't leave this world she's created or else she'll just collapse as a person I guess I mean you know if that's what it takes for her to be alright with herself and I'm honestly not gonna say no or be mad at her about it because I understand completely what that feels like even if I wish she would stop cause the cursed child was really bad like the cursed child was like really just go fuck yourself Especially all this made-up tension between Harry and his son. Oh, the boy who lived, you know, his son living under his shadow. Dude, get the fuck over that. Do you want to know what fixes that? One stern talking to by literally any other good adult male figure in that kid's life. Fucking sitting that kid down. Fucking, you know why it's you know why I get so mad about that whole concept? Because it's the exact same concept from the Rocky movie. Rocky, like Rocky 6, Rocky, yeah, Rocky 6, or Rocky 5, the one just titled Rocky. Um, the one, you know, set years later where he fights a like, new rap, like a new fighter, like at the peak of his physical performance. And again, he loses, but it's such a hard fight that the rapper can't help but respect the man for it. Right? Like, that that happened? That, that is very much what happens in that movie. That exact conversation. Rocky is slow. Because, I mean, Warren Rocky was always a little slow. But, you know, taking repeated concussive blows to the head for an entire career will make you a little bit slower. And his son, you know, his dad is famous. And his son can't handle the fact that his dad is famous. And, you know people laugh at his dad sometimes because of his wild and crazy antics and he, he thinks they're laughing at him too and his dad just fucking looks at him and goes when, when the fuck did you stop being the, the amazing child I raised and start being a coward <laughs> I just like I love how well written that conversation is cause it's exactly someone who's very emotionally hurt lashing out at someone who's lashing out at them right like I, listen, I mean, I'm, I'm not, you know, I, I, I was never the first person to say, man, that writing in that Rocky movie, that was fucking good. I mean, I'll admit, it wasn't what I was expecting myself to say when I woke up this morning at all. I was never fucking expecting to talk about that Rocky movie, but I enjoyed it. That was probably... Probably liked it more than the original Rocky. Now it must be carried 
to be a hundred percent honest about it, I probably like it more than Rocky Original. I just felt that that sort of relationship between father and son was actually like really well written. Because people do that, right? Like when they look at someone who's not so how they used to be anymore. Uh, well, it was it was worth it. Watch your step. And so they see someone who is sort of pushing all of their problems onto someone else and hiding from them by saying that it doesn't matter what they do because they're in this shadow. It's just a, it's just a really good visceral conversation between a father and son. And I mean, I don't know who wrote that from. For all I know, fucking, uh, what's his name wrote it himself. Fuck, I can't remember his name right now. I'm actually upset about it. Hold up. Sylvester Stallone. Jesus. I just, I couldn't get Arnold Schwarzenegger out of my head. I'm like, that is not who I'm thinking about. That is not who I'm thinking about. Stop thinking about Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> but like, it, it, you know what? If I found out that Sylvester Stallone wrote that conversation, fucking props to him. I would love to be able to write realistic characters like that. I mean, I, I, all right, I can. <laughs> Let's not get carried away and self-deprecating myself. I write good characters. I think we should get rid of this for deeds. Let's not, you know, jump the fucking shark here and self-hate land. But it was just really well written. And I can respect someone who writes a really good line. I don't know who wrote that movie. But it was just, it was a really good conversation. And don't get me started. I mean, a lot of that movie is very sort of cliche, exactly how you expect it to be. Over the tops at times, like a Rocky movie would be. But that, that one moment just really stood out for me when it's him and his son standing in front of the restaurant Rocky owns. Because, you know, it's, you know, what you do when you're an athlete and you're retired. You buy a restaurant. Which, funnily enough, is a real thing that happens. Uh, you're gonna pop, you son of a bitch. Belden, be amazing. Ha! <laughs> yes! We've had two afflictions and they were both virtuous. Alright. Playthrough possibly saved. I don't know what Vigorous exactly does, but I like it. Giving him bonuses out the ass to speed. No, it was just... That was a good Rocky movie. I really like that movie. <laughs> I mean, will I watch it again? Probably not anytime soon, unless it's on Netflix. Shit, if it's on Netflix, maybe. I could probably be tempted. Fucking more power to the Rockster, man. Ah, oh, I fucking clicked a corpse. God damn it, my hand my hand jerked on its own there. Good kill. Let's get some healing vapors going. I don't think you can even hit him there now. Alright, heal up. That was a good movie. I don't know, I'm a little torn, because all of the Rocky movies, for the most part, have something I really enjoy in them. It's just that one, that moment stands out so much in my memory that I'm like, nah, we're gonna call that one best moment. Alright, we're gonna camp, because Virtuous. And we are going to try and get some stress down.
I don't know why that wasn't working. Alright, uh, no protection from nighttime ambush. Nope, nothing. Sweet. I got on a really big rant about Rocky there, just out of nowhere, for no damn good reason. Is it this? No, it's it's bandages. Alright. I know I did that in this dungeon. I'm not crazy. I'm just not as good as I once was. But I was good once. As I, oh, you're really not gonna scare on me for the last room fight, you son of a bitch. Ah, uh, we really want that. I think we'll get rid of our torches. Man, I wish portraits could stack more than three. What a goddamn awkward number of a thing to stack. Alright, this was the wrong way. Another dungeon we've had to explore basically 100% of by force. It's definitely making it hard for me to want to, to record as many as I normally would like to of videos this week. I'll still be doing Oblivion this week. It's just the first video might be out a little bit later Wednesday than when it normally is. Because I have D&D &D tomorrow. And then I'm going into the city to hang out with Jess and Brandon uh, during the night to set up for the My Little Pony thing. The book's in. I got my refund, but the book did show up. Um, it showed up the day as I got my refund. The book showed up. Which actually made me feel bad because the book did show up. But, I mean, it also showed up, you know four days outside of the timeline they said it would be here after the re and it was the replacement that showed up it wasn't the original it was the one they sent on the 16th of june not the one they sent on the 30th of may which is just super infuriating 21 dodge isn't bad right now i wish well, i wish my screen wasn't so shitty and i could actually read parts of it that are cut off I mean, heal yourself, man. I'll, I'll take it. Fucking, could you hit, though? Yeah, the book came in. I need to get ready for D&D &D tomorrow and get ready to go into St. John, or the city, afterwards. Because I don't, I don't live in the city. I live in a suburb. But three of my players for D&D &D live in the city, and they're going to give me a ride in. And then I need to get back because I'm running a game of Dragon Age on Wednesday with some online guys, assuming, you know, people show up. Good hit. Good final fight. Uh, we don't need food anymore. Take this. We don't need this anymore. Take this. Let's return to the Hamlet. Let's get out of here. Fucking twice we've had someone afflict, and in both times they've been virtuous, which is amazing. We probably got a ton of money there, 13 grand, and still 20 crests for deeds and portraits. Did we get our level twos? Ugh, we didn't. Lights, uh, we all got negatives. That turn rotator is bad. Turn rotator needs to go, yo. <laughs> All right, sort by level. Yeah, so we got three level twos. Y yeah? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I guess I need to go help them get shit in. Because Lord fucking knows no one else is going to do anything in this house. <sighs> Which is great. All right, let me just... Awesome. We'll, uh, whatever team we'll take next, we're gonna fully upgrade their abilities. We're gonna start getting ready to take on the, uh, Crimson Court. Because, again, we have a ton of money. Uh, we actually wanna buy this. Alright, we have, a, we have, we have one-sixth as much money when we, when I said I, we had a ton of money. Uh, this is actually really good. She has a setup I like, and she's actually really good. So we're gonna take Bonnell. I like Arbalists, and she has the setup I like, so we're going to take her, too. All right, well, I want to thank everyone for coming by, and again, we'll be back with our next week of The Darkest Dungeon at a later date.